A good look there at lovely Green Valley Stadium, site of this edition of Afternoon Baseball, presented by the show. 
Today we play game two of this three-game series as it'll be the New Hampshire Fisher Cats taking on the Reading Phillies. And hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here, set to bring you what should be an entertaining ball game. Major League veterans Dave Campbell and Eric Harris will join me in a moment. But first, let's say we check out our starting lineup. It's presented by State Farm. Get to a better state. State Farm. We'll jump ahead now to the bottom of inning number one. Richard Addison will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Here's the first offering. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. Line to the right side. But foul. Now the one and one pitch. And that misses two and one. Right on the corner, two and two. Hit on the ground towards first. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. Yeah, he's got to come a long ways towards the hole to field this thing, so then it becomes a foot race to the bag, but he knew he had it all the way. Walter Nishii will stand in now and beware because he has been off the charts hot here to start the season. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Just a perfect spot for that fastball. This catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Now here's the pitch. And this ball will be chopped foul. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Another 0-2 coming. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. He'd obviously love a 1-2-3 here to start the first. And after a ground out and a strikeout, He's two-thirds of the way there. Francisco Cortez will stand in now as he was reinserted back into the lineup here after taking a needed day off yesterday. And he starts him out with one high and tight, ball one. Yeah, not really in danger of hitting him, but still, that looked like it took off on him a bit. The 1-0 pitch. Hit hard to second. 
throw in time and the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. The Fisher Cats lead it two to nothing. We'll move forward now to the bottom of inning number two. David Rodriguez will stride in now. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's ball game. Now here's the first pitch. Low for ball one. Two and oh now. And I'd be surprised if this is anything besides a fastball down the middle. They want this guy to swing the bat. In there, two and one. And I would be wary about giving him another pitch there. Good fastball that time as he's pulled the count back to even now. It's two and two. And now at the plate, here's where you got to put yourself in the pitcher's head and figure out what would I throw on a two and two pitch. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first down of the inning. You don't need to be a lip reader or an expert in body language to know that he was not thrilled with that call. You know, just about every umpire has a different interpretation of what a high strike should be. But none of them like it when guys carry on like this. You've got to be careful. Number 18. We'll see if he can keep his hot bat going as he was 4 for 4 in the ball game yesterday afternoon. in tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. and And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's 2-0. and He couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Fastball misses upstairs as that moves things to three and one now. The 3-1 coming. And this is hit on the ground down the line to third. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Well, he set down the first two guys to face him here in the inning, but they haven't made it easy. It's taken 11 pitches here, but he'll probably take it. Number 32 will stand in for the first time here. And he takes ball one. Here we go. One oh pitch now. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and oh. 
Yeah, you're always looking to keep guys honest with fastballs on the inside part of the plate. And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two called. Yeah, and that fastball is showing plenty of life to it in these first couple of innings. Swing and a ball lifted into straightaway center. Francisco is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. to move forward to the bottom of inning number three. Roger Rivera will come forward now, back in the lineup here after getting yesterday afternoon off. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And he misses with it one and one. Up in the zone for him and he takes a cold strike two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Full count now. Three and two. Boy, and he will kick himself if he loses this guy. And this is on the ground toward the hole. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Zach Goodson will take his cuts now. And he'll start him with a fastball that misses down and away for a ball. 1-0. and oh. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball in two strikes. That's exactly what the pitch is intended to do. And it looks like that'll put him into the hit column here as this is into left field a base hit. Yeah, hard to say this was really an authoritative swing by any account as he just reaches out and dunks this one into left field and finds a little pasture out there. Number 10 steps in now. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and 